Apex Payment Solutions platform. When you first sign into the platform, you will see the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see a total daily captured amount, as well as recent funding events for the last 30 days presented in the bar graph below. On the dashboard, you can also set up notifications for things like decline transactions, refunds, or when your monthly APEX statements are available. In the reporting tab, you will see a list of all of your transactions, the date, the patient or cardholder's name, the dollar amount, and also the status. If you have multiple locations, you can switch between locations, see one, or see all locations. They can also be linked for easy PCI compliance. To see transaction details, click on the transaction number. This will pull up transaction details where you can see the total amount captured, the status, even the batch number the transaction is associated with. As you scroll down, you will see the cardholder's name, an image of the card only showing the last four digits, the expiration date, and the type of card that it is. Below, you can see the process details, how the card was processed, and the transaction history. Transaction details is also where you will void or refund the transaction. You can void a transaction the same day if necessary, or you can do a full or partial refund the next day after the transaction has processed. The Gateway Batches will list all of the batches and the total amount for all transactions pertaining to that batch. The Virtual Terminal tab gives you another option for processing payments. For example, if a patient calls in to make a payment over the phone. If the patient or cardholder is already stored in the online platform, you can search for their name here. When selected, it will auto-populate any fields that have been previously entered and also populate the card on file. If the customer has not been previously stored, enter the customer's information, credit card information, and transaction amount, and select Process Transaction. Once Process Transaction has been selected, the card information entered will be tokenized and encrypted. Also, if you would like to store the customer profile for future payments, you can do so by selecting Store Customer Profile. Any stored profiles can be seen underneath the Customers tab. For setting up recurring payments or billing plans, click the Billing Plans tab under the Virtual Terminal, then select Add New Billing Plan. This can be used for in-office financing such as orthodontic treatment or even yearly membership plans. Enter the patient or cardholder's information or, if it's a stored profile, search for the patient here. Select the start date for the billing plan. For example, to make reconciling easier for you, have all of your monthly billing plans run on the 1st or the 15th of each month. Choose how often you would like the billing plan to process, whether you would like it processed daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Enter the number of payments, you can also select whether the billing plan will process until canceled, on a certain date, or after a set number of payments. The number of payments option is most common for most monthly plans or in-office financing. The until canceled option is best for setting up reoccurring membership plans, whether monthly or annually. For this example, we are using a number of payments. Select the number of payments and update the amount for each payment. This is calculated by taking the total balance divided by the number of payments. Once you enter the amount, the billing schedule preview will update on the right hand side and show you the total number of payments and the total billing plan amount. Remember to save the plan and have the patient sign off on the authorization form. We have an example available if you'd like to use ours as a template. Under the administration tab, you can create multiple users each with different permissions. Within the Support tab, our support email and phone number are listed. Our team is more than happy to help or answer any questions you may have. In addition to our online platform, you also have access to a hosted payment page. Once created, you will receive a link that you can provide to your web developer. This link can be embedded into your website as a Pay Now feature. When a patient selects the Pay Now feature on your website, it will automatically direct them to a secure payment platform. This site will include your business logo and branding. 
The patient will enter the dollar amount owed, fill in any required fields for billing information, and enter their credit card information. Please feel free to reach out to your client engagement specialist or a member of our support team.